Let's say we have the following block diagram, and let's say we want to find the transfer function for the block diagram. That is, we want to find the output divided by the input. How can we do this? The easiest way is just to label every node in this block diagram and then write the equations for each node. We can label this node S1, this node S2, this node S3, this node S4, and this final node has already a name and it's called Y. And the node name refers to the signal going out of the node. All right. Let's uh, write up what S1 is equal to. So we have S1 is equal to U minus, because this is a summation block, Y times H3. So Y times H3. Okay, that was S1. And we have S2. So S2 is equal to S1 times G1. minus S4 times H2. Okay. And we have S3. S3 is equal to S2 times G2. Plus Y times H1. Okay, then we have S4, and this one is just equal to S3 times G3. And lastly, we have Y, which is just equal to S4 times G4. Okay, now we have five equations with five unknowns, S1, S2, S3, S4, and Y. Let's write these equations up in Mabel and solve them in there. As you can see, I have written out the equations in Mabel. Let's solve the equations with respect to the five unknowns. And then we get five different, different results, but the only one we care about is this one, which is the result for y. And if we look at it, we see that if we divide with u on both sides of the equation, we end up with the transfer function, we end up with y divided by u. So the transfer function for this block diagram ends up being y divided by u. The transfer function ends up being uh, this expression. And this method can be used for any block diagram, uh, any linear block diagram. So it's a very useful method for finding transfer functions.